Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Let's make something awesome. Y'all stay tuned. So today I am going to use my wonderful craft consortium paper again, which is um, Cottage Garden. Absolutely am in love with this paper pad and today I'm going to make something using several elements that we have made on the channel. And I'll bring it in and show you exactly what it is. It's this super adorable 4x5 booklet. And on the front I have one of the metal clips that I made. But here's the secret to this clip. You don't really need it to keep the booklet closed, but I have it there because it's a nice little decorative touch. But when you open this up, what we have here is a notepad, a pen, and then we'll take our clip, place it here, and we turn this into our writing surface. So this is like a two-in-one, I guess because you've got your notepad over here and then you can take some papers and just write over here and clip it. But if you wanted to, you could actually use this clip on the front as your decorative closure. But for me, I am making this with the intention of my clip being over here, but I'll have it on the front until I actually need to use it as a clipboard. So let's get started on making this. So to make our project we are going to need some chipboard and I have two pieces that measure four by five, one piece that measures one by five and from one piece of chipboard you can make two of these little booklets. Then I have some decorative paper six by twelve and that means that you can also make two booklets from one sheet of this twelve by twelve paper and then of course you would need another sheet for your inside liner piece so this is my inside liner and it measures nine by four and three quarters then I have some paper and this paper measures three and three quarters by four and three quarters and the number of sheets that you use is totally up to you for this project I'm putting in 25 sheets but you can put in way more than that that's just what I'm using for this project then I have a topper for it that measures um, one by three and three quarters and then for my pin loops I have a piece that measures two by one so the first thing that I want to do so that I can have this all nice and dry is we have made our own notepads before and that's exactly what we're going to do here so I am simply going to take my glue and make a notepad so I'll be putting glue along this entire bottom here or top and because I'm not using very many sheets I really don't even need to clip it so I am going to set this off to the side because I do want it to dry completely and now while that's drying I am going to bring in my 12 by 6 paper and my 4 by 5 piece of chipboard and I'm going to place that down and guys I am using a medium weight chipboard link in the description box and then I'll take my 1 by 5 piece spine and I am going to place that down using about an eighth of an inch in spacing and then I'll take my second four by five piece place it down using about an eighth of an inch in spacing use my finger blade to trim off my excess and now I'll take this and just fold it over on all four sides and then I'll use my bone folder just to smooth out my um, paper on the tape. Now I'll use my finger blade, come in and miter cut my edges. Okay, so once my edges are mitered, I have placed down my tape. You can use glue, you can use double-sided tape, whichever one it is that you have handy or that you prefer to use. So I am lifting up my tape and what I'll be doing is simply folding over my edges and getting them stuck down 
nice and smooth, and then I'll run my bone folder against the ends here. And I will do this on all four sides. All right, guys, so I have my edges folded over, and you can see that I have my tape down because you can see the sheen. So I am going to take my nine by four and three quarter inch liner, and I am simply going to run glue along the edge. And now I can lay this down to finish off this cute little book. And I'll use my paper towel to get everything nice and stuck. And then I'll use my bone folder to make sure I have a really good stick and to reinforce my spine. Okay, so our little book is done. And basically what I want to do now is go ahead and make the pen loops. I don't have any more of these small pens. I actually got this pen from Tuesday morning. But what I want to do is I want to go ahead and create a loop so that the bottom is tight and then I'll put one up here so that the top is tight. So I'll take my one by two inch piece and just fold it into thirds just like that to create the loop and then I'll close the loop using my glue. And then once I have the loop closed, I am simply going to use my bone folder to curl it just a little bit and to get that glue working the way that I want it to work. So the first thing that I'll do is I am going to come in. I've already done one, so I am going to put that down. And basically what I'm doing is I'm taking it and finding the part of the pen that I want to stop from moving. And that's going to be this part of the pen. So all I need to do at this point is take a little bit of my glue, place it on my ends, get my pen centered, and then just stick it down. Okay, so once the bottom loop is down, all we need to do is the same thing. So I am simply going to take this, bring it up to the top, and just kind of match it up with what I have at the bottom. So I need to trim off just a little bit of this, not too much. And how much you trim will depend on the size of the pen that you're using. So I can't give you exact measurements on this because it really will depend on your pen size. So I will place this one right here and then I'll just slide that in just a little bit. I don't want it too, too tight. And I'll use my bone folder to get that stuck down. And that is how we create our pin loops. So now I'm going to bring my pad back in and I will bring in my piece that measures one by three and three quarters. And it is going to go across the top of this pad just like this. So what I'll do is I'll place my front on just like this, not gluing it down. And then I'll do a wrap around of this piece. And I want to come back. And I am going to place my glue on the piece that I'm wrapping around. And then I can bring it over the top like this. I'm going to get this stuck down. Use my bone folder to really square this off. Once I have this piece done, I am simply going to take it and glue it down on the inside of my book just like this. So I am only going to glue it down here at the top. And I will just take it and put it down trying to get it straight. And I'll use my bone folder to just smooth that out. And you can see just how gorgeous this little book is. And so now we have another completed book. And y'all know what? I told you guys, If those of you who have been with me for a while know that I have a habit of doing this sometimes. I will actually place my book in on the wrong side. So now my flowers are upside down. But you know what? I am not even going to stress over that. This will be something that I don't give away. So I am going to take my Anna Griffin sticker 
and place it right here. And what it says is the garden suggests there might be a place where we can meet nature halfway. And that is such a beautiful saying. So now I'm going to add one of the little clips that I made so that you can see just how gorgeous this is. And I am going to clip the other one so you can see just how gorgeous the two are. So when I open this up, you can see that I've got my pin loop, I have my place for writing, and then I have a place right here that if I need a hard surface on which to write, I have it. Or if I want to clip something to the inside of this, I have that as well. Guys, these are super cute and super delightful and so easy to make because we made the booklet, we made our own clip, and we made our own notepad for the inside. It does not come any more economical than that. This is truly a super cute and super easy way to craft. I hope that you guys have liked this awesome project. And if you have, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join my online crafting family. You guys have a great day. Happy crafting and we'll chat later. Bye.